Now what in the little house on the prairie is this tarnation right here? Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks. Ace here, and today it looks like we are rounding off uh, some more best games in my Vegas lots, this time with Frontier Fortune. Uh, now, I'm still feeling, uh, feeling pretty spicy from our last game here, so I'm still willing to put in 2,250,000 chips per spin. Let's go ahead and see how we do with this game over here. So Frontier Fortune, one of the original My Vegas games here, uh, definitely set in that kind of Old West, uh, Country Western style sort of sort of theme there with a high-low little card bonus. I've played the bonus before, and I know it's pretty fun. Um, it's just kind of you guessing whether the next card's going to be higher or lower than the, next, uh, than the next card that comes up. So hopefully we'll get one of those bonuses, and you guys can check that out. It's uh, definitely welcome given uh, given my recent uh, visit up to Blackhawk, Colorado, uh, where we went last month for a casino trip. Um, next month is going to be Vidara, as you guys already know. We picked out that on stream before, or actually, you guys voted for that. Then we picked out the rewards on stream there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that, and this is just kind of something to wet the whistle in the meantime. So let's go ahead and put our standard 100 spins on the clock. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. All right, so let's go ahead and see how the uh, bonus goes for this game over here. So I've been putting together the itinerary for Vidara, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I just got to go ahead and make sure that I book my twofer tickets uh, for the love show uh, for the Vegas, or <laughs> for the Beatles love show at Mirage. I'll probably go ahead and do that right after this one here, so that'll be a good time. Uh, looking forward to watching the Beatles and then getting that all booked up and getting to go with uh, with my buddy from Canada that's coming down. Oh, was that a multi-game jackpot? That's actually pretty nice. Uh, wouldn't that be crazy if we got that 85 billion? I don't think my Vegas likes me enough for that. Um, <laughs> I'm sure they like me a lot, but I'm not sure if they like me enough for that either. So we'll go ahead and see what's going on here. Uh, let's go ahead and what else do I have going on this week? Uh, it's mainly just a little vacation planning. Uh, I got the in-laws in, so we're gonna go ahead and hang out with them a bit. Maybe do some hibachi or something like that, run them around the town. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I got going on this week, and it's just gonna be getting ready for week after next. Our uh, trip is on the 18th of November, and uh, today is the 4th of November. So we are just about two weeks away from our Vegas vacation, and I'm also working on a uh, on a little charity shout out that I want to do. Uh, probably gonna go ahead and do that during the podcast. There, I think I know someone that I really want to do the uh, podcast with. So two parts that I want to do to the podcast. Uh, the first part that I want to do is I'd like to do. Oh, we got a match bonus, guys. Here, let me go ahead and tell you about the podcast in a minute. Let's go ahead and play this. Uh, fetch yourself a pair. I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and see here. Um, I will pick this one. That looks like it's just green stuff. That's uh, row two, column two. And let's see if this matches with anything. Nope, no match. That's column four, row two. It's just blue, green. And let's go ahead and see if there's anything else that matches over here. That's just straight blue. And this is... Straight red. Nope. There's the green. There's the green. All right. We finally got one. You matched correctly in three tries. And that's worth 18 million, apparently. All right. All right. All right. Not the biggest bonus, but it's the only one we got. Bonus complete. You win 18. I'm not sure why I'm saying in the southern accent. Also, before I forget, shout out to my boy uh, Jesse Byrne. I uh, just got married today. Uh, to his girl Destiny, uh, mad shout out to them. Um, really excited for you guys and the family and all that. So uh, next time we're in Vegas, we'll go ahead and throw you a little shindig over there. It'll be a good time. They're actually down in Texas, so that's what made me think about that <laughs> in this game, sort of too. So there's that. Um, but anyway, though, yeah. So the podcast I wanted to talk about, speaking of families, is I wanted to discuss taking families to Vegas. So it's no secret that I'm not really a big fan of kids in Vegas. Um, I'm actually pretty distinctly anti-kids in Vegas, but I'd like to be proven wrong. There might be a good way to take a family to Vegas, and I am genuinely curious about that. 
So I think in, uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I can talk uh, Vegas tips and tricks into doing a podcast with us. So we can talk about that too. And I also want to talk a little bit about the Vegas Rescue Mission and uh, how we can help solve the homeless problem in uh, Vegas. And I'm not saying homeless problem like, uh, you know, there are too many homeless people out there. I am saying that there are too many homeless people out there, but I'm not saying that they're bad within of themselves. I'm saying that there are too many people out there that don't have homes and we need to do something about that. There's, sh- there, there, you know, places number one in foreclosures. There are plenty of houses out there. We should be able to do a little something, especially with all that money there, to, you know, help people get back on their feet and find a place to stay. And, you know, it's just, I, I, I couldn't imagine. I mean, I really couldn't imagine not having a place to stay. It's insane. Just, you know, I mean, where would you shower? Where, I mean, where would you cook? Where would you eat? Where would you, sl- I mean, sleeping, just trying to find a place to sleep consistently that's, you know, both safe, warm, away from the ele- elements, and, you know, God forbid if you have children or something like that, too, it's just, I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine, so, that's what we're uh, doing the proceeds of No Shave November, too, I think you guys gave me 45 likes on the original post so far, thank you, and, uh, so that puts us at just under 100 bucks, I'll probably round it up to the nearest 100, whatever we end up with, don't forget to check those community posts, though, because occasionally I do put up polls and, uh, little contests and, um, announcements, in the community section too. And I'm going to start using that a lot more fre- uh, frequently to communicate with you guys so we can talk about things like this. But yeah, hoping that I can get a good guest and I'm, I'm thinking I know exactly the guest, thinking Vegas Tips and Tricks would be really great for this particular podcast since uh, uh, they're really big on doing family trips and all that. So hopefully we can get them to come on out. They'll be a good time. And they're coming up on a thousand subscribers. Uh, pretty fast here, so hopefully we can help them push towards another thousand. I'll put a link to them um, in the description box too, if it's something that you guys are interested in uh, and checking those guys out and seeing uh, what kind of Vegas tips and tricks you're missing out on over there. Definitely go check them out. You're missing out if you haven't watched them. Uh, they're really fun, kind of like a Hog and Two Cent, and uh, who else is who else is really great? Mark Anderson, another great uh, Vegas channel. Uh, I'm his comps guy. He doesn't uh, YouTube anymore. That's a pity. It was a fun Vegas channel, too. I, you know, I just love Vegas channels and other Vegas channels that are hanging out. Uh, Vegas Bebe, she's a, she's a new one, too. I've been watching her lately. She did a whole, uh, whole like, four-part vlog on her Cosmo trip with her uh, mother-in-law, which is... Uh, which is absolutely insane, the fact that she can get her mother-in-law to go do, like, a four-day bender with her. That is so cool. I'm glad that they have that type of relationship. All about that. Just love how love how happy they are hanging out together and, you know, taking good care of each other. So it's a good thing, especially since her husband's not really big on Vegas. All right, guys, last couple spins over here. Let's go ahead and see how we do. Um, I am down for one more spin, and then let's go. Let's go. Boom. Okay, we didn't get that high-low bonus, though. We did get a pick bonus. And it looks like we're ending at uh, 1,593,035,224 chips. So that means I've got just a minute to go ahead and take a quick break, do some maths, and, of course, we will uh, count up the booty. All right, guys. Looks like Barry's trying to get us to come crawling back to him over here because we did not have a great payback percentage for this game over here. So we ended up with a payback percentage of 66.24% uh, after we spun down, a, I think it was a good 100 times, and it ended up being a good 225 million through the machine. And that's a shame, a rough payback percentage. I really wish I could put up those numbers in real life. I'd probably own part of MGM if I could put up those <laughs> numbers in real life. So that's just how that is. Um, next time, I, I think we're really narrowing it down to the last few uh, the last few games over here. So I think we're gonna have a pretty official answer as to what the best game in my Vegas slots is here very, very quickly um, when we get through. I think we did Mask Ball Knights already. I'm pretty sure we did Captain Candy Cane. I know we've done Glee Musketeers very recently, so our next page is just around the world in 80 plays, which is my favorite game on the PC. We'll see if it's good enough on the mobile, too. The mobile's a little more difficult, I found, so just doing the bonuses, so we'll see how that one goes there. And then uh, 1,001 Wilds, I haven't played that, so that's two games for sure. 
that we're behind on. Uh, Real Chef, another one of the better ones on the PC, but they've removed that as of lately. At least last I checked, so that's a third game there. We haven't played Sherlock Hound, and I don't think we've played Real Amigos, so we're missing out on that. I mean, that we're down to our last five games in the series, guys. 80-something video, or 70-something videos. I'm not sure if it's 70 or 80 at this point. I'll have to go ahead and double-check that. But we've done a lot of videos here. We've earned a lot of loyalty points doing this. And couldn't have had a better team to do this with. Thank you guys so much for that. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll put up a poll, see what you guys want to do, and then we'll go ahead and play that next time. We'll play them all in order. So until then, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and, of course, happy spinning.